Hello. This is a short introduction to the Redeveloped Tech Award in Digital Information Technology, or as we like to call it, DIT. My name is Tim Brady. I'm the subject advisor for computer science and IT qualifications at Pearson. I've been su supporting teachers running the DIT for some time now, and I'm delighted at the way this redeveloped version has come out. I think it's an improvement, it, and I'll update you briefly on what uh, each component has been uh, changed to make up the qualification. So the redeveloped Tech Award in Digital Information Technology has retained the same three component structure as the current Tech Award. Components one or two are each 36 guided learning hours and each were 30% of the qualification grade. They are assessed using the new Pearson Set Assignments or PSAs. They're marked internally by you, the teacher, and moderated by Pearson. The PSAs are released in November of each year and assessed in May, June from 2023. So you have plenty of flexibility within your program to prepare for, administer, and mark the assessments. The final component, component three, is 48 guided learning hours worth 40% of the overall qualification grade. And it's externally assessed by Pearson. It is an hour and a half written examination available twice each year. There's a session in January, February, and then a summer assessment. Each assessment in the qualification is marked out of 60 available marks. In component one, learners will develop their understanding of what makes an effective user interface and how to effectively manage a project. Then using this, understand how to plan, design, and create a user interface. Component one is exploring user interface design principles and project planning techniques. The, change, the changes are mostly in learning aims B and C. In learning aim B, for example, the updated spec now states agile and scrum methodologies instead of iterative methodologies. We originally wanted to keep the methodology used open. However, the digital industry often specifies an understanding of agile and scrum. So in turn, we've decided to become more specific too. Components one and two are assessed through non-exam internal assessments, which have been designed to demonstrate application of the conceptual knowledge found in the content through realistic tasks and activities. And in doing so, to deepen learning by connecting knowledge and practice. Due to the new technical requirements from the DFE, there are some changes to the assessment of these components that will be different to what teachers of the current Tech Award have been used to. Assignments used for summative assessment must now be set by the awarding organization. So the old assignment briefs have been replaced by Pearson set assignments or PSAs. These are released in November of each year. Component two focuses on helping learners understand the characteristics of data and information and how they help organizations in decision-making. They will use data manipulation methods to create a dashboard to present and draw conclusions from data. Assessment for component two is comprised of three tasks that take approximately seven supervised hours to complete. Learners will explore the suitability of two given data collection methods used by an organization for a given data set carry out data manipulation and processing to create a dashboard, analyze their data set, and present their findings. The externally assessed component three, which is called effective digital working practices, uh, is drawing on knowledge and understanding and skills acquired and developed across the qualification. It requires learners to select and integrate knowledge and understanding from other components and apply it to given scenarios or context. It's assessed through a written exam that is set and marked by Pearson. 
The supervised assessment period is a maximum of one hour 30 minutes and should be arranged in the period timetabled by Pearson. The assessment availability is Jan slash Feb and May, June. First assessments are in uh, Jan, Feb of 2024. The content for component three was reviewed, but no changes have been made. In terms of assessment, the overall basic purpose and nature of the assessment has not changed. However, there have been small changes to improve the delivery and functionality of the assessment. The language used for the questions has been amended to try and make them more clear. And the command words have been simplified to make it easier for learners to understand what is required in response to different question types. It's also true to say that as before, it remains an hour and 30 minutes. It remains 60 marks. It's still four questions. As previously, no multiple choice questions. And now, no nine mark question. But there are three six mark questions up from previously uh, where there were two. We encouraged you to look through the draft specification, the Pearson set assignments and SAMs, which are available on the Pearson website. And if you have further questions or are preparing to deliver and need further support, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You can contact your subject advisor, that's me, Tim Brady, by emailing teachingict at pearson.com. You can also attend one of our upcoming Getting Started events early next year, where we'll be covering the qualification and assessments in more depth and answering further questions. You can book by visiting the Training from Pearson page on the Pearson website. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you in one of our upcoming events.